Over the past few years, I have had many hundreds of you reach out to me for my YouTube channel and a way I can help you and I've helped others in the past is by doing virtual tours of the homes you are interested in. And throughout those years, I have learned a lot of key questions you may want to ask your agent who's doing the virtual tour for you. Now, in no particular order, as I feel these are all really important questions to ask, is make sure they are pointing out the closet, storage, utility room, all those type of spaces. Those are oftentimes things people forget to look into and then they may move into the home and realize there's no storage or there's not enough to meet their needs. Whether it's a condo on the beach, oftentimes they will have additional storage located downstairs, maybe for your seasonal items, your beach stuff, and even sometimes a bike room. Those are important things you may want to find out. If it's a home, have them check out during the virtual tour the closet space. It, are the closets teeny tiny? Are they big? Is there plenty? Is there only a few? Now for some families or folks, they may need just a little bit of storage and it's not that important, but if you're someone who needs plenty of storage, I feel this is something you really need to make sure your agent is checking out for you. Okay, another really important one, and this is something you cannot tell from maybe just the virtual tour or the, even the photos online, is the noise level, both inside the home and outside. Especially if you plan on spending time outside, is there power lines going above and making that crickety sound, or maybe just you don't wanna be located near power lines? Can you hear the highway from where the backyard is? Is there big semi-truck noises going by, maybe a dog barking in the neighbor's yard nonstop. Inside the home, is there any odd or quirky sounds that would make you kind of creeped out or uncomfortable living inside the home? Sometimes there's noises outside, but the home inside is so soundproof that you don't hear them on the inside and you love the home, so maybe that's going to be okay with you. Definitely check out the noise level both inside and outside of the home. What are the views like? Especially if the MLS description is amazing views. Well, is it amazing views? Or can you see it from every room or the rooms that are important to you, such as maybe the kitchen or the master bedroom? If it's a ocean view, maybe it's a home or a condo on the ocean here in the greater Daytona Beach area, is it a peekaboo view or is it a true ocean view? Like I said, what rooms can you see it from? How great is the view? Have your agent check out the view from all angles of the home or the home, parts of the home that are important to you. Another nice thing I like to do for my clients that you definitely can't tell in the photos is check out the features in the wear and tear, such as I'll open up the cabinet doors, look underneath the sink. Has it been well taken care of or has there looked like some water damage or is the base of the cabinet starting to fall through? Check out the appliances, open the door, look inside. Does it smell good inside there? Has it been taken care of or has it been worn out? Broken shelves in the refrigerator, maybe trays are cracking. Look at all the features of the home and look for wear and tear and see if that's something that's enough to discourage you from purchasing the home or you're okay moving forward. But these are things you would more than likely discover if you were in person doing the walkthrough. Have your agent. Look at the appliances, the high traffic areas, like the walls where people turn the corners a lot. Is it being worn down or from them, you know, grabbing their hands as they turn the corner for whatever reason? The door handles from opening and closing, do they slide open smoothly or is it kind of clunky? Just little things like that that you, again, would check out if you were doing the tour in person. I think another great tip is ask the agent their professional opinion. If they're an agent that has been doing real estate for a few years now and has sold several homes like myself, ask them their input. Again, you can take it or leave it, but ask them if there's anything that's a concern to them. Now, it may be something that is to them, but to you, it doesn't matter. You're okay. Maybe they feel the second bedroom's a little too small. Well, you're not planning on doing much with it, maybe a little office, and that would be okay. Again, that's their opinion, but just, Get another one's input. They're there, they're physically there. Is there anything they personally might not care about the property or that they really, really like? 
go ahead and ask them if there's any concerns they have. Last but not least, but thinking of agents concern, this is a huge one for me when I go and look at properties for myself, and that is odor. I cannot stand a home that's been smoked in. Fortunately, there's fewer and fewer of those. I think smokers or there's less smokers out there and or they realize do not smoke in your home because it gets in the walls, the flooring, the AC, and it's just brutal to try and get it out. Is there mold, mildew smell? Even like have them check inside the closet, stick their nose in there. Does Is there any mold or mildew smell in these older homes, especially the ones on Beachside? Is there pet odors? or just any type of odor. This is definitely something you cannot see from the photos. You would never know till you get here and it may be too late. Definitely ask about odors. Now make sure your agent does not rush through this as this is so important, these virtual tours, if you're trying to purchase a home from long distance. Even if you're gonna go under contract from the virtual tour and come in town for the inspection, you still don't want to waste your travel time or risk your escrow deposit. So you really want to get a lot of these little tips knocked out up front. And it would take you time if you were in person seeing the property. So it should be a good thorough virtual tour walkthrough for you. And if you're thinking of moving or relocating to the greater Daytona Beach area, whether it's a virtual tour or meeting you in person, just know I'm happy to help. Go ahead, give me a call, send me a text, shoot me an email. Just know I got your back. We'll move into the greater Daytona Beach area. Till next time.